everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with another reading, which is going to be for all of you out there who really want to know what blessings are unfolding to you in your life right now. Love life, love work life, home life, it can be applicable to any area of your life. So let's dive into the reading. Before we do that, just be mindful, it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's dive into the reading and let's find out the blessings entering in your life right now. We do have a bow. You are highly thought of. I really feel like you know, it is a very good card to have because um, if you always struggled having people liking you or people talking good about you behind your back, this is going to happen finally, where you are going to be appreciated. Even in your absence, people are going to talk good about you. They're going to talk about your skills. They're going to talk about the way you have been. They're going to talk good about your nature. So you are going to be very really highly thought of about in this uh, coming times. And people are going to love you, value you for who you are. And if we are like talking about your career path or your work uh, scenarios, you are definitely going to get a lot of... Um, um, praise for the work that you do and people are going to like you the higher ups are going to be very happy with your work and your skills and the what you have been adding to their company so there is a chance of a um promotion coming your way for some of you as they're going to know your worth and value and you're going to feel very happy and proud uh, in the times to come because you are going to get some success in your work front or in your love life as well is what I see here. So there are people who are attracted to you. There are people who are very um, drawn to you. So that's what I see coming through, unfolding to you in your life. Let's see the next card. We, we do have the ant. Um, work, achievement, success. Again, it goes very well with this card here. Like, you know, if you are somebody who is working, there's a big chance that you're going to get a lot of success and you're going to achieve a lot in your work front. Now, if you really want to improve your financial situation and you are having obstacles, you are having blockages, feeding ants can help you a lot. It's it's a very, really, um, you know, um, um, how do I say? It? It's a very really, um, good ritual for some of people, like, you know, who use it every day to increase their abundance, financial flow of income. Um, they do practice it on, on, you know, weekly basis or monthly basis. They do feed ants. And this is something which is tried and tested method to achieve financial inflow of money coming your way. If you really want something to work out for you in your favor and you're finding some blockages in that particular area, you can go out maybe into a park or an outside like place where you can put something for the ants to eat. That is going to bring you a lot of financial abundance. You have no clue how the doors of uh, heavens is going to open up to find, you know, to you with financial blessings. And that is something that you can try and do it for yourself and see the results of it. So there is a lot of um, achievement that I see coming for you in your work front. If, if you could do that, you are going to be very happy and, uh, you know, feel lucky to get the success that you're going to get after that. So I really feel like, and for some of you, um, if you're working and you feel like you, you don't get, uh, uh, you, you don't get, uh, you know, valued or you don't get like as much appreciated as much as you work, you will be getting that success now onwards. So the next blessing that is unfolding to you is a nest. An emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. I really feel like, you know, for some of you, um, I really see a happy, harmonious relationship with your family members that I see coming up for you. So you are going to, like, you know, if you are completely single, if you don't have anybody of your own, there is a chance that you meet someone who you are going to feel, like, so connected to. You're going to feel like building a family life with that person. So there is a lot of emotional bonding that I see coming between you and a specific someone in your life during this time is what I see here. So there is a big chance that you are going to feel very emotionally secure and happy being with the right kind of people in your life, which is, I see unfolding to you naturally right now. Um, I really feel like, you know, for some of you, um, you are going to feel that if your family or the people around you, your, your close friends, maybe, if they haven't been like, you know, very, uh, positive about um, or supportive of, of your decisions you, with, with the success that I see coming your way they are going to be like proud of you too so there is going to be a harmony that is going to return back to you in your life 
in the times to come. So if you're worried, uh, like your family was not supportive of your decisions that you took in your life, but that in love, work or home life, they are going to be very supportive towards that uh, now onwards. So it, it's more like, you know, maybe they were worried about, you know, what you're going to do if you don't um, succeed. So when they see you succeed, they are very happy and proud for you. So um, the next card is number eight, blessing on your intuition. Now, when we talk about number eight, number eight is a, a number of change and growth as well. Um, I really feel like, you know, there is a, this, this number is in the number of infinity as well. So I really feel like, you know, for majority of you, you're going to see yourself achieving something that you did not see yourself achieving before. Um, you will have divine intuition guiding you towards the right path forward. And this is something which is going to lead you towards success even more. We do have an owl here. An owl is a symbol of... Um, it's a symbol of uh, wealth, prosperity, wisdom, good luck, fortune. So I really feel like, you know, if you listen to your intuition right now and you follow it, regardless of what people talk about you and your decisions, you are going to achieve a lot of success coming your way. So I really feel like, you know, um, there's a lot of uh, success that I see coming your way. That That is uh, something which is unfolding in your life. Um, I really feel like you know, this is also like, you know, the goddess of fortune in some cultures and uh religions that that you know they con uh, consider owl as one but i really feel like you know this is something which i see coming in unfolding for you i really feel like you know the times that is coming and the way things are unfolding for you i really see you very happy and fulfilled because the the way things are happening now it's something that you have worked towards is what i see here the next card is number 29 um a blessing on a battle that cannot be avoided if you are having a tough time right now just know that this battle that you're dealing with right now it's gonna get you the outcome that you desire so you don't have to worry about it there is a success coming in for you even if you have to so even if you have to kind of uh you know um struggle right now just know that the outcome is going to be in your favor so if there are certain things that are not going the way you want them to go and you're still struggling to fight for your rights still fight for your uh, for yourself, for your decisions, you are going to come out of it with flying colors for sure. So this is also a big blessing that I see coming your way. The last card of the week is a blessing to find your way. Number 24. Number 24 could be significant here. Number 29 could be significant here. Number 8 could be a significant number here. But I really feel like, you know, a blessing to find your way. Um, if you have been unsure, indecisive, to choose a path, to choose a way for yourself, to pursue your dreams, desires, and goals, the divine is bringing you that path which is going to lead you towards abundance. Like I said earlier in the very beginning, um, you are going to get the success that you want. If you felt that nothing was working out for you, you're going to have the support of people. You are going to meet people who are going to help you to get closer to what you want, what you desire. So if there has been certain things that felt like falling apart, you're going to soon realize that they were not falling apart. They are like, you know, actually redirecting you towards success. So if you think that your, your plan is being like, you know, um, rerouted by heavens, just follow that because that's going to lead you towards abundance. That's going to lead you towards success. So you don't have to worry about anything. A blessing to find your way is coming. Um, your intuition is going to guide you again towards what is the right path for you to follow. And if you could listen to your intuition and take action based on that, you have no sur you have no idea how surprising magical events and things are going to unfold for you in your life, which is going to take you closer to living your best life because you can have the family that you love, you can have the people that you love and people who support you. You are going to get, achieve a lot of success in your work, in your love life, in your home life. But yes, I really feel like, you know, yes, there are some struggles that you might be currently dealing with. But just know one thing, once you are out of it, people are going to think very highly of you because they're going to know that you have earned the success that you're getting. It's not an easy journey, but you are going to make it happen for sure. So yeah, that's what I see coming through for you. I would also, you know, add one time more that you have to listen to your intuition because there are so many signs and messages coming from your divine uh which you might not be able to receive right now make sure that you give your time uh you know to meditations and that is also going to help you to receive the signs easily and effortlessly so yeah that's what i see coming through for you for this read if it was of help don't forget to like share and subscribe till i do the next read take care bye